hot rods all started when I was a kid with my dad, and uh, he was always working on something, tinkering with something. His daily driver was like a 52 Ford truck. I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, we didn't have like new cars back then, but um, he was always tinkering with something. He had like a Thunderbird and he had a Nova one year, like a Willys Coupe, and it, it was always badass, but I was never really a hot rod guy until my motocross career ended. I was kind of doing the BMX thing after motocross and I kind of got bored and I used to look on eBay all the time at hot rods and I remembered when I was a kid I used to love the colors of the Mopar cars, you know, the greens, the yellows, the oranges and the purple. I just thought that that was pretty badass, you know, because you don't see cars like that today. And I bought a Dodge Challenger and that's kind of where it all started for me. I didn't really know much about cars and I bought that and it just all started. I rebuilt, the, restored the whole thing, you know, and I think the big thing is it's a head turner, you know. I, when, I, when I do drive it, it, you can see people's necks breaking left and right checking it out and that's kind of what I like, you know. You know, that's kind of what's badass to me is when people can appreciate a cool car you know, and the thing for me is that I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in that thing, and and that's what makes it mine, you know. I always told myself I'd never sell it because of the time and the hours that I put into it. The finished product looks cool, but it may not be done perfect, you know, so. But I replaced all the sheet metal in the car. Um, I, it all started with the guy that I worked with. He showed me... I kind of relied on him to come over and do the welding for me and it was I was kind of hoping he'd do the whole thing to be honest with you and then one day he didn't show and I called him and he's like Perb just go out there and just just start welding and that's what I did and I ended up finishing the whole thing I laid down all the welds and like I said they're not the best welds but you know it worked and I still like welding today and I learn stuff all the time with it but it, that's kind of where it all started. I drove it when I first got my license back in 87. And my mom was always scared I was going to get hurt in the thing because it was kind of dangerous to drive. And we agreed to sell it to my uncle because he always wanted the truck. And he drove it down gravel roads. And it was like his grocery getter or whatever for several years. And then he parted it to his junkyard collection and it kind of sat there and I didn't really realize it but I was, I was taking my t telling my kids about my Uncle Mike's junkyard collection and we went out there I think it was like 04 or 05 we went out there just to look at all the cars just rotting away out there and I saw my dad's truck and it was covered in weeds and I don't even think it ran at that time and I hooked hooked up with my uncle right away and told him that I wanted to get the truck back because it was my dad's and I was interested in you know rebuilding it or doing something with it and we kind of had a handshake agreement that I could have it back and um, I ended up driving it home like the next day I went out there and we got it running I drove it back in town and I put it in storage till I had room to actually restore the dang thing and um, that's where it's sitting like it is now I uh, I've been working on the chassis. I put uh, bags on it to get it low to the ground. I have no intention of re you know, restoring it to something other than what you see right now. I want it to look just like you're looking at it. And I want it to kind of look like my dad was done driving it. I'm going to put a sick ass mural on the door, like Pat's Garage from. 1984 or something from I remember when I was a kid and it's gonna look faded and stuff like it was his truck it's kind of a tribute to my dad and this truck means a world to me I never get rid of it it's it's probably my, my most prized possession I have in this garage because it the sentimental value of it being my dad's and and it was really important to him and a lot of people in this town even remember it as my dad's truck because they remember him driving it like you know me and you drive nice vehicles back and forth to work but he drove this thing you know in the middle of winter it had a 
crappy ass heater on the inside to keep you warm, but he didn't care. He'd put on some bibs and and dart off to work, you know. So it's cool. I got a 302 Ford uh, drag motor out of a Mustang that I'm gonna stick in it, and you know, like I said, I'm a, it's sitting on bags now. It's gonna be slammed to the ground when at all possible. And I'm planning on putting some chrome steel wheels with white walls and. And then assembling it all back as you see now it's going to have this sweet finish that you can't buy you know it'll look pretty cool but it's just going to be something that's mainly a tribute to my father who you know had so much he was the hot rod guy around town and i want it to be a tribute to him because it was his truck so yeah that's kind of cool Even my lawnmower looks pimped out, dude. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs>